Alrighty, people, we are here with another episode of Trails of Cold Steel. I was just spending a lot of time fishing. As you can see, I got a bunch of freaking Vitality Droplets. Um, I got some Tierra Bombs. I was getting a lot of cool stuff, man. Increases... What? I'm sorry, but anyway, welcome back to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel. We're going to do one more episode here. It's probably going to be a shorter episode, but essentially we're going to go through this next section. Off camera, I was catching fish, and apparently there's a fish that gives you a vitality droplet, which is something decent. It increases your vitality by 10 HP. I wonder how much it sells for. And we haven't checked in on these two at all when I've been like... I was going through the entire academy and I thought the hangar was in the back in that Einhell, whatever you call it, the Einhell keep. So I never checked the hangar. I'm like, ah, oh, man, uh, it sucks, but it is what it is that I can't talk to Tita, but she was here all along. My bad. So we're going to talk to Pablo. Figured I'd be able to convince Tita since we're both technicians, but bro, this is perfect for him. Looks like I was one step too slow. The free days just started though. Too early to give in. Even if there is something he wants to do, he'll need to at least he'll need at least two people to establish a, cl uh, a club. Seems to still be okay, so I won't talk to him just yet. As a mechanic, that does interest me, <sighs> but I don't think you can be in multiple clubs. I'm sorry, Pablo. I'll help. I'll help. Hey, EP. Ooh, I can get EP one if I want to. So what do we need for the thing I was looking for? So there is something here for for us to take advantage of. We, we're getting Mirage and we're getting we're getting Mirage. I think we need to analyze, don't we? I think it's analyze R. Oh, this is pretty easy. And then we should be able to upgrade that. So we need three analyzers. We need, we need a needle R. Yes. So we found a way to get a bunch of freaking U materials already in low key. Yes. Yes, sir. I will be farming for that ASAP. Thanks. So AKA needle shoot. And the best part about this, you know, the best part about this is the rock eater fish gives you Sepith. It's actually insane. It gives you enough Sepith to just farm. So now, Thanks. strengthen, yes. exchange. Oh, I think I need three of them, don't I? So I need to essentially just get like a, a couple more rock eaters and then get two more of those needle R's. How much does this sell for? Just just for comparison's sake. Yeah, it's 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 probably better to just do the the food loop rather than waste all your uh, shit right there. Rather than like selling like Sepith. Oh yeah, they gave me a brave seat. Yeah, get that out of here. Hmm, that's not bad. Two hundred fifty for a vitality droplet, but I think I'd rather just use it at that point. 30 HP is 30 HP, man. Thanks. Okay. I'll help. Once this area is cleaned up, all I need to do is add the finishing touches before that. I should get going before I set them up. Aw, shit. Source, is that you? Perfect timing. You're going to be helping me with the experiments today, so be at the ready. What, what do you mean? This guy hasn't changed a bit. This dude talking about helping him with experiments. Not today. Nope. I still got a whole bunch of stuff to do at school, bucko. Let's talk to Valimar. Let's get his opinion. Today is one of your free days, right? Having these, uh, having these again must be nostalgic. Please take this opportunity to thoroughly rest your body and mind. 
Thanks, Valimar. You always know what to say. All right, here we go. Dun, da, 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 da. All right, I need to find a source of water, Sepith, and Earth Sepith. We already got the the one we need uh, for Earth, so we can at the very least get Earth. Uh, hold on a minute. So back to school we go. Uh oh, cutscene time. Oh, I thought they were going to play it right there. Still got some time before the briefing at three. Might be a good time to take care of any business I've got before then. I already did. Eventually, Michael told Randolph, Principal Aurelia arrived and the briefing began at 3 p.m. as scheduled. With voice acting, right? Probably not. Um, well, it's time. We starting this thing or what? No need to rush. Not even I know the details of our special lessons. Only our chief instructor and our contact are privy to that information. I apologize for the wait. Our contact? Is someone else from the RMP? Oh, I keep you guys waiting? Sorry, my bad. I know that's not who I think it is. That's not Lecter, is it? Huh? That voice! No way! No way! Surprise! Is that Milium? Major Lecter! And that's... <laughs> Milliam! Mighty Milliam. Sup, Breen? Long time no see! Sup, my boy? Oof. What a meme! And there's your traditional reunion tackle! You're not a regular kid! <laughs> Out here <laughs> clamping, bro. You look like a Vocaloid. I knew tagging along with Lecter would be a good idea! I've got another mission next week, and I didn't know when I'd get the chance to see you again. Grats on graduating, Reen. And <laughs> grats on getting crazy tall, too. Bruh. Well, I've only grown like five reach. You don't seem like you've changed much. As energetic as ever, I see. Hmm? <laughs> Milliam, it's been so long. Sheesh. Sheesh! Everybody says sheesh! The original red hair. Actually, that's Cap. Schwarzer. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. Agit, Agito. But hey, I'm glad the place you got tossed to is working out so well for you. Not quite sure I understand what you're getting at, but it's good to see you again. It's been since the end of last year, right? Right you are. A pleasure seeing you again, too, Miss Herschel. The Major's not giving you a hard time, is he? Uh, oh no. We're all fine here. If we could get to the matter at hand, Major Arundel. And can't forget you. My man was skipping school. He was getting bullied by the, the class, uh, was it the, the president? Student council president he was a part of back in, a uh, liberal? It's been a while since we saw each other, too. Hello, huh, Orlando. I heard our leader asked you for quite the doozy of a favor. Sorry about that. <laughs> this isn't like you, Scarecrow. Yeah, it's a pain, but I still owe you one, so... Let's call it even, yeah? Well, that's a weight off my chest. Then that leaves... <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Ironblood? <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. Go ahead, continue with your reunions. Nope, I need to make an introduction now. Imperial Army Intelligence Division, Special Affairs, Major Lector Arundel. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, I suppose this is the first time we've met like this, isn't it? Met? Though considering the events that led me here, it certainly doesn't feel like it. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Hey, dude, the uh, mischievous eyes he's got. Wow! She's the Golden Rakshasa? Major Lecter's certainly formidable himself, but... Uh, I can feel the tension in the air. Anyway, let's get to the main topic. 
We seem to have majors from both the RMP and Intelligence Division here today. Is that Tara Platt? I didn't realize that. Is, is that, um... Is that Elizabeth? Is that Mitsuru? Now then, what sort of fascinating things will you tell us, I wonder? Am I wrong about that? This is quite tense. I see. Can't say I was expecting that. I'll call that the textbook definition of a sacrificial pawn. So whose organization was it that thought this up? Chief Instructor Michael? Major Arundel? It was the Intelligence Division in conjunction with the RMP. Well, to be perfectly honest, it came from Chancellor Goliath Osborne himself. Under the advisement of the Governor General Crossville, His Excellency Rufus Alborea. Oh my god. But this is just too much. There have been disturbances in the west half of the Empire. Multiple Jaeger Corps has been spotted, as well as agents of society Ouroboros. Oh shit. Thor's newly established branch campus will be tasked with handling these threats. God damn. These kids just started school and you want them to send them to you wanna send them to engage in actual combat? They're just being used as scapegoats. They'll die out there. Toa. She's absolutely right. However, this is one of the conditions that allow for the establishment of this school. As I'm sure you're all aware, our tensions between the Empire and the Republic of Calvert have never been higher. Our entire eastern border sea skirmishes on a daily basis. Just the other day, a major battle took place in the Nord Highlands. Oh shit, that's my boy Gaius' home. In Nord? How things get so bad in the first place? To be perfectly honest, the Intelligence Division and the RMP are both completely tied up. We're fighting an information war along the entire east of the Empire, including Crossville and North Ambria. Y'all getting too big for y'all britches. Cruising province? Cruising? We out here cruising. That's something you should just blurt out. As a result of this, uh, resources and troops have had to be divided or diverted from the western half of the empire. Damn! Targeted for an attack. Aurelia really VA actually the voice director for this game. Oh, that's cool. So that's where this kind of plan comes into play. Ouroboros, Zephyr, and. Oh, shit. You were the ones pulling the strings during the Civil War. They were the cause of the turmoil in Crossbell and even the strange events in Liberal. In addition, the ten or so elite Jaeger Corps that at times worked for Ouroboros have been spotted. Damn, this plan is necessary. We need to have some way to stop them. Damn. And of course, we will not be deploying the students to known lines of battle. While undertaking these field exercises, we should or uh, we would have the most advanced technology, such as Panzer Soldats on hand to protect them. Wow. In addition, the branch campus will also receive its very own armor train for use in these exercises. Wow. What the fuck? Is that a little overkill? That had the cost of fortune. What can I say? We had a good budget. Besides, it won't be the only use for it. Oh my god. We got the Ashen Chevalier, one of the best tacticians in Crossbow, and the former ca uh, acting captain of the Courageous. Your students' lives will be in your hands too. Oh my god. This is messed up. Now I understand. Quite an interesting plan. Training exercises that that allows us to prepare for the uh, deter an invisible threat. Deter an invisible threat. My bad. Could even be said it embodies both the world as a battlefield and foundation of the world philosophies of our school. Yike. All right, VA is Valerie Arrow. Okay. not Terra. It'll take place in the south of the Kiefer Sutherland province. Then when the win will be Friday night, April 21st. Oh shit. Bro, that's literally soldier sold out training. It's like literally a couple days after that. Oh, she's Lotus and Zero Escape and Nalto. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. 
Randy is upset he's spaghetti, man. I know there's nothing we can have done, but this whole thing still makes me feel bad. I had no idea this was such a big operation. Now I feel like I showed up at a real bad time for you guys. It's not your fault, Milium. Yeah, but as someone from the intelligence division, I feel kind of bad. If I had known about this, I could have just gave a heads up through uses or something. That probably wouldn't have been a great idea. Yo, Milium, oh, she a homie. Milium said, man, if I knew, I would have said something like, She's a part of the spy intelligence, whatever. She ain't supposed to be doing that, but she do it anyway. She, Milliam is goofy, but I love her because she a homie. I'm sure it was pretty confidential information. So? <laughs> what? You're still here? Instructor Herschel, I'll need you to arrange our travel plans early next week. Understood. We heading home already, Lecter? Not quite yet. I need to transfer over some info from the intelligence division. Think you can babysit for a bit? Yeah, sure thing. Why are you treating me like I'm some kid? Whatever, I guess it's fine as long as Rain is showing me around. No discipline at all. Just try not to cause any trouble, understood? Like they're finna go gamble. My man finna go hop on Grand Blue. That dude actually was into gambling a lot, so. I remember him getting dragged off the slot machines, bro. All and getting dragged off the slots all the way back to school, bro. That shit was funny. There are some documents I want to investigate for the field exercises. Okay. Press going in. Looks like she's working herself to the bone with everyone's requests as usual. Come on, Sam. I'm, I, I literally walked around make sure all the kids were getting in the clubs. I was doing requests too. Come on. And I was fishing. Let's get going. Received bonding points. You've got to be kidding me. Is this the evening? All right, here we go. what i might need to do i'm gonna make another separate save slot because i don't know if they'll immediately change the missable stuff right now because i don't think they would do that but just in case just in case okay you can challenge rachel if you defeat her you win something all right cool 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 cool, cool. Cool, I'm just making sure we're not missing anything crazy. Hey, this music is kind of good though. So, you're the intelligence division's white rabbit. You went to the main campus alongside Schwarzer, right? Guilty as charged, and you're really the golden rock Shasha herself? Didn't expect you to be a, a smoking hot babe. I'm flattered. Milliam, you really need to think a bit more before you open your mouth. Don't worry, it's fine. We'll free. Feel free to look around the campus as much as you like before duty calls you away. No duty here will be close to you. That's, the, that's real nice of you. Woohoo! It's my turn! Woohoo! <laughs> it's my turn. Oh, wait. You think I could take any uh, equipment off of her? Probably not. They knew better. They knew better. They knew better, bro. They said, nah, nah, you gotta go work for this. Oh wait, they're in my reserve. Can they actually cook though? Oh, she's bad at making that. So he's actually not terrible at making chunky potato salad. Oh my God. Oh, we can hang out with, oh, who, how many points do we only have one, bro? That's a mandatory event, I think. And then this one is optional. Okay. So who is it going to be? Everybody. So everybody on Twitch, I got a poll for y'all. Everybody on YouTube, give me a second. 
So we did a poll to see who we're spending time with. We got Yuna, and then we also have uh, Toa. And um, we have the 50 mirror coin from the special edition of, I think, Trolls Code Steel 1. Trolls of Code Steel 1. We're going to flip it since it's a 50 50. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not uh, focusing. <coughs> Fifty mirror, baby. Y'all ready? What we got? What we got? Heads, Toa, Tails, Yuna. Oh, we got heads. We got heads. I didn't see it. So I guess this is going to be a. Uh, I guess it's going to be Toa because I didn't actually see which side it landed on. <laughs> I think I did show it to the camera, so it probably did spoil. But hey, we're going to go hang out with Toa. Sutherland, Sutherland, Kiefer Sutherland. I need to take care of the travel plans, but I also need to prepare as much as I can for the field exercises. And eh, we don't really have a lot of time. Dang, if only I would have known more beforehand, I would have warned you guys. Don't worry about it, Emilio. Please go enjoy seeing the town with rain. I feel bad leaving all this to Toa. Is this your first playthrough? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What, don't you need to show Milium around? Sorry, Milliam. Is it okay if we uh, continue to her for uh, a little bit later? No problemo. Actually, let me help out too. If they come all this way, it's the least I can do for you guys. Yo. Oh, when you put it like that, how can I sell no? Oh yeah, I have a list of books I need. Can I, I get you two to find the ones with a check mark by them? A check mark. Okay. Oh, she's gonna hand us the list with a check mark. Ah, oh, duh. I thought the books physically were gonna have check marks. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm tired. Daddy Asborn. Dude, how'd you get all those books? All right, I found everything we needed on, uh, off the shelf. Done over here too. Thanks, you two. You really helped me out a lot. It was all thanks to your neatly organized list. The only shells we have left are these. Uh-oh. Oops, it's the intelligence division. Forgot they need to uh, need me to check in periodically. Milliam got ADHD, bro. It's all good. Don't worry about me. Be right back. There isn't much left, so uh, how, well, uh, how about we finish it up now? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna finish it. Yeah. Surprised at what a good selection this library has. Military textbooks, documents on different regions, back issues of the Imperial Chronicle, even novels. So for some reason, it's really satisfying to see a complete set of hard-to-find novels. Feel free to come in here and read all you like. People make good use of the library. I don't feel like any, I don't feel like all my hard work has been worth it. Who you saying you gathered all these books? Oh, I just wrote up the catalog. The principal said I must have seen a lot of documents while working with NGOs, so she put me in charge of it. Huh? Writing up a catalog of everything in this entire library by yourself? Isn't that a pretty unreasonable thing to ask? That said, I am even more amazed you were actually able to do it. She should be the principal. Toa is basically the principal, man. If I had known we'd be doing field exercises like this, I would have found more materials that covers combat. If we aren't prepared and the students get hurt or you, like during the Civil War, then... Oh. Yeah, he, yeah, he got clapped. I have played every Trails game up till this point. I've played 
one two three trails zero azure cold steel one two and now plan three we need to focus on getting all these documents the last one is up here i've almost got it yo there's a whole ladder right there if you need it lady oh you can leave the high up ones to me whoa toa losing to a bookshelf Rain. Don't worry. No matter what dangers await us, I'll do everything in my power to bring everyone back home safely. Students and instructors both. I'll protect anyone and everyone from any menacing bookshelf. Also, my dad will be here to protect us both. <laughs> I know you will. I'm counting on you, Rain. What's going on here? Uh oh. Million, this isn't what it looks like. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Million's like, oh hell no. <laughs> I leave for five seconds. Five seconds, bro. Oh yeah, because it looks like a super rad hug. I gotta get on this action. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Bruh. After digging themselves out of the resulting book avalanche, the three of them finished gathering the documents. I love that. <laughs> that was a good one. Hey, yo, what do you mean? It's yellow. So what's Bond and Chris the three? Uh, you know, today really brought back memories of us when we were both students. Like that one time I lost my balance and you... Yeah, that's right. I didn't have any time to think and just... Caught her. <laughs> that's enough. Seems like we both remember... Yeah, did I say something wrong? You tell me, lady killer. <laughs> Killing them. But I got a little taller. Uh, I can tell. You're not the only one. I got one reach taller too. Yeah, we got the lore, the the lore and the size. We got the lore, the height, the height lore. All right. So where are we going now? Be -do -do -do. Boo, boo, boo. Yo, this music is so chill. I like it. I actually had to take a break from playing the trial series because it was just so exhausting playing these super long games. Like each of these trials games can be at least a hundred hours long. Easily. So it was like I definitely needed to take a chill pill. Gina and Daisy are my precious daughters. Okay, so both Gina and Daisy are uh, okay from here. Raising them as a single father wasn't easy. Damn. Well, they've both grown up to be fine young women nonetheless. Now all they have to do is find themselves each a nice young fella to settle down with. Hey, well, instructor, how about it? I beg your pardon? Uh, I'm not sure what to say to that. Is that so? I couldn't be any prouder if one of them could reel in the Ashen Chevalier, bruh. Oh yeah, I forgot you're a big shot celebrity now. Look at you, Mr. Playboy. It's not like that. It's not like that. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, if it isn't everyone's favorite instructor. Come to have a drink with me? Bro, what is that? I trust that drink of yours is non-alcoholic. Sorry, uh, but you won't be catching me in the act. Now that I think of it. Are you even old enough to drink? You're like, what? Two or three years older than me? How'd you even get this job? <laughs> well, I admit, I do have a lot to learn, but I'm still your superior. So how about you stole the attitude? Yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Sheesh. Randolph must really have his hands full with this one. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Man, how'd you even get this job, bro? I heard you almost lost to that damn robot like three times. Alright, so we got a... There's like all the dialogue changed with these characters, which is crazy. Not that I heard a doggy. Was it just my imagination? Yeah, Cerberus walked in here. That's crazy. Why is there so... Like, the town has a story. Like, all the towns just interact with each other, bro. It's crazy. Oh, you shopping too, Schwarzer? You can always count on this place to bring in the goods. 
All right, the flagship store is in Crossbell, isn't it? Did you go there often? As part of my police work, yeah. Those were the days. I remember the crazy day who ran this place. Smoking in more ways than one, but crazy. <laughs> yup. She must have been pretty unique. Yes. She was. Oh, it's a doggy. Woof, woof. Hey, what are you doing? I told you everyone who comes in here is a customer. No matter how shady they seem. And we don't bark at the customers. <laughs> Sorry about that. You got yelled at because of me. But good job sniffing up my true identity. I'm impressed. <laughs> what kind of exchange is this even? <laughs> oh, the contraband I'm getting in lately has been kind of lacking in quality. Damn, I screwed up. There's a crap ton of Jaeger core in the Empire, but there's no dip point in demand if I ain't got the supply. Hey, you want a submachine gun? I'll make it real cheap for you. That depends. Is it legal? You want one with proper documentation? It'll cost you. <laughs> Never mind. Forget what I said. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. This woman is insane. I got some good stuff. Why are you so loud in my ear? I got some good stuff. Jingle is just like her mom. She was born in that environment. It is what it is. Oh, shoot. You know what? I can buy stuff here, right? There is, there's like two other things we need to buy. There's two other things we need to buy really quick. Hmm? Done already? Yup. Sorry. Actually, can I talk to her again? This isn't the same lately, quality-wise. Fixing it. The bargain bin. This place is so shady. So, does this dog react to different characters? It's my turn. It's my turn to pet the dog. Ah, oh, nope. Okay. I guess I got lucky having Million Man. I thought I heard a doggy. Was it just my imagination? Nah, he got brought in. So, here we go. Frankie, whoa, what the hell happened to this old lady? Hey, Granny, you alright? Oh, yes, dearie, I only stumbled a little. This is nothing. Uh-oh, no way, you definitely fell. You shouldn't tr strain yourself. Well, then, perhaps I'll take you up on your offer. This old lady gonna die by the end of this game. Oh, what the hell? This is a extra event in here. What the heck? Oh, Ren, is that Milium? It's been a while. About a year. You look better than ever, Monk. You even seem a bit happier. Well, I've been getting out more since I started working here. Uh, anyhow, Ring, you seem to be getting around. This Monk's gonna get a clean haircut, I feel like. This dude's gonna get a haircut, and the girl in the, the front desk is gonna stop acting kind of rude. Are you planning on taking your class anywhere outside leaves? Well, actually, Ring told Monk about field exercises. Ah, now the entire branch campus is doing what only you guys in class 7 used to do. Ah, that's right, you always referenced our exploits in the old class 7 and the radio material. Alright, unless a certain someone will be willing to provide me with a story. Bruh. Are you trying to say that you want to ask Kareem? I guess you could say that. I know you're going to be working, so I shouldn't be asking you this, but if you can give me some good material to work with, my job would be a lot easier. Yeah. Should I contact you through the Arcus when I have a new uh, when I have new material? Yeah. War. What is it good for? Yo, look at that upsetting face. You're like, man, I don't even want to work here. The other people who work on radio shows would be cooler. You know, like they all seem like cool people in the air, which is why I decided to work here. But they only make me do random busy work, and they pair me up with that weirdo monk. It's so. Boring. God damn. Goodness, I ain't never seen someone complain so much. Time for you to quit. I actually got two more meetings today, so I'm really glad you were, I was able to squeeze you in. 
appointed director of a short drama series. Wow, director, huh? You're only just joined the team and they already gave you uh, gave you a huge uh, job. Hey, stop, you're embarrassing me. Uh, just a little thing and they're broadcasting it in the early morning, but I think that makes doing it right so much more important. Hey, make that too. We're rooting for you, Monk. Director Michael gave me the short drama director role personally. Michael. All right, let's get out of here. I'm fairly certain that certain things only show up when you're near it on the mini map. If you look on this map, it doesn't show up. All right, I'm gonna go back to the hangar really quick. Maybe something is happening over here. All right, here we go. Anything on the mini map? If nothing, then we out. I need to look through the manual. It's pretty hectic around him. Reminds me of when I helped out Grandpa and Mom. She seems busy. And where's Professor Schmidt? Oh, instructor reading. If you need me to do anything in the workshop, just let me know. I may look busy, but I can make uh, time for whatever you need. Yeah, oh, thanks. She's such a good kid. All right, cool. I'm not gonna make her do anything right now. Maybe later. Valimar, you got anything new to say? Milliam, looks like the professor went somewhere. I was wondering why he was so quiet all, <laughs> all of a sudden. Ah, so you hear his bickering on a daily basis. <laughs> damn, Valimar, he was like, damn. So this dude complains constantly. That's hilarious. You're looking all fancy now. Ah, is that the smallest secondary contractor I spy there? I'm glad to see you're doing well. Valimar, has got a personality for a robot. All right, let's see. Anything on this world map? Oh yeah, there is. There's a green uh, marker uh, on top. Do you do 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 do? Hey, I'm I so I so sorry, Yuna. Yo, she playing tennis, making a racket. This is pretty hard. Uh, what are you up to out here? Nothing. I was just seeing how the racket felt to swing. Louise is going to teach me how to play tennis later. Hey, I hear that's a popular sport in Remiferia. We got great motor skills, so that'll be perfect for you. Thanks, I guess. By the way, who is she? I've never seen her before. She's a cute little thing, isn't she? Are you helping her find her parents or something? Oh, no, she's... Are you one of Ring's students? My name's Millie Morian. I'm Tilly's big sis and one of the veteran sis... Or one of the veteran class seveners. Bedroom class seven or, and Orion is seriously who is she? Well, it'll take a while to explain everything. You seem busy, so I'll give you the whole story another episode. Oh my god. I have to make sure I don't disturb her practice. Unfortunately, I don't have all the free time in the world. Um, can we go over here? I need to go inside the main building. All right, here we go. We need to go do this last sub quest. Or is it a green star? Oh, wait, was that the first floor of the building? What y'all doing? Uh, watching all you today made me want to swim too. Well, you got until tomorrow to decide. It's a good idea. Yeah, no trouble at all. Hey, do still struggling to pick a class or picking a, uh, a thingamajib. That might be right outside. Hold on. That looks like it's right outside, bro. No, I guess that is somewhere inside. Ugh. That's a little bit irritating, man. No, we gotta go all the way up. It's probably on top. Yep. It's my boy, Pedro. Pablo, my bad. 
Oh man, what is he all gnawing about? Oh no, oh hell no. Oh, Instructor Reed, and who are you? Oh my god. Hey, I'm Milliam. I'm one of Reen's classmates. I'm just showing her around the campus. By the way, if you need some advice, I'd be happy to help. Oh my god. You gotta pick your club? Shouldn't that be fun? Well, right now I've got... I've no... What? Right now I've no got a Scooby? What the? Right now I've no got a Scooby. The fuck does that mean? I've never heard that. I've got to start all over again. What do you mean? I actually got a wee bit of a repetition of... Trains and railways. Oh, you're a boring guy, damn. Uh, composure of a citizen of the empire. Oh, maybe Pablo wants to... Oh, okay. Uh, you need to come up with an alternative. What about a cooking club? That's what I did and it was super fun. You get to eat a bunch of yummy stuff too. That does sound... That doesn't sound half bad. I hear Sandy starting up a cooking club. Then again, I'll probably be more keen on eating the food than cooking it. Huh. Singing. This dude finna be making country music, bro. This dude's name is Pablo. Pablo Francisco. Uh, uh, what? At uh, what? Playing rock music. All right. Are you uh, interested in rock music, Pablo? Sounds like the sounds like the train chugging along the tracks. Wow. It seems that. Uh, wow. He said music sounds similar. He said rock music sounds similar to just a loud train track. What the fuck? All right, we're going to speed this up, bro, because they come on, bro. Come on now. This is this is kind of overpopulated with the, the text. Help them find club members. Checking around the dorm. So we're looking for club members getting the band started. All right, so now we can go take our asses around the dormitory. Ah, uh, crap. I'm glad we were both able to start clubs without any problem. Um, yes, I'm still scared of being in a club by myself with Ash, but I'll try my best. Don't worry, I'll be giving you moral support. Oh, by the way, there was something I wanted to ask you about. Tatiana, do you happen to read literature like this? <gasps> it can't be. Where, where do you get this? Uh, I feel a chill in the air. Something ominous just happened. Uh oh. Oh no. What was that? Sp what was that girl's name with the Fortune Club? The you know, or was it the Occult Club? No, it was the Literature Club, and I guess it was Emma and that girl. And the girl was always reading something like st she was me she was reading some messed up stuff, bro. Who was sharing my interest in stories like this? I couldn't be any happier. I felt the same way. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This black tea Sandy made is delicious. I agree. It's just what I expect from the cooking club. Didn't you already have some green tea and snacks at your club earlier? No, no need to worry about it. I have a spare stomach for each kind of tea and the snacks that go with it. Bruh. Is that so? You can just eat anything you want. Food is the ultimate healing. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. Damn. Come get some, everybody. I whipped up some wild locust soup, Freddy style. It's got a really strong smell. It really does, huh? I remember margaritas cooking giving off all kinds of funky smells, but this is on a whole nother level. Damn! I'll try it out! Said he's actually gonna eat it. Uh, it certainly smells very strong, but this aftertaste. So you can tell, I put a little maple sugar in there. It balances out the bitterness of the locusts. The two combine to make such a unique, delicate flavor. Freddy, this is amazing! These two are uh, really something else. 
That soup seems kind of interesting, but I think I'll pass. I got some standards for the aroma. All right, yo, we can take a hot. Whoa, we're not about to take a bath with Millium, are we? Oh, hey, what's this? This is the Doran's bath. It's a split between boys and girls. What? You get a bath here? That's so cool. I want to go in. Come on. Well, Lecter is waiting on us, but I guess just a quick dip will be fine. All right, let's go. I, like I said, it's split up between boys and girls. Calm down. Whoa, this is way bigger than I expected. I beg your pardon? Did that general lady have all this built? Yeah, that's what I've heard. We've only had uh, showers in the old class seven dorm, so the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheep monsters? Oh, she remembers the sheep monsters, dude. Yeah, they were sneaking in and Ring got beat up for no reason. I remember that. Then we had the snowboarding. Yeah, I remember that. Have you visited any other hot springs or baths or baths? My bad. All the time. I uh, went to a spa with Claire and Heimdall the other day. I also tried out the bath at uh, Eusis's mansion. It's super duper huge. I invited him to come join me, but he flat out refused. <laughs> he said, bro, no. Oh, no surprise there. You could probably stand to be a little bit more modest. Maybe. I like to go with Tilly sometime too. Even when we were on the same missions, we never had time to play. Oh, and our combat shells too. It'll be Millie, Tilly, Lammy, and Sammy. Together we'll be a band and solve mysteries. Oh, I'm sure the chance will come. Or get them. No, that was a great bath. I feel ready and ready to go. Let's get this tour back on track. Interesting. I wonder if I could have waited to take a shower and met a different person. To step foot in there would be a forfeit. My <laughs> would be step footing in here, putting any step in there. To step foot in there would be to forfeit my life. God damn. But uh, I guess that's true. But we need to go upstairs and look for these uh, people, man. All right. Oh, come on, man. Nothing. Nobody's home, bro. Damn. Maybe the, the station. I'm trying to, like, find these people that are interested. Oh, I think we got one person in front of us. It's already evening. What am I going to do? I wonder if she's chosen a club yet. Hello there, Valerie. Do you have a moment? Instructor Schwarzer, and who in the world is that? Oh, I should have seen that coming. I see a modern music club. Pablo's desperate for members. All right, so I should join. Is that it? Isn't that kind of you? Uh, isn't that kind of you, Instructor? My bad. I'm not taking my time. It's about time we get ready to end this uh, entire stream. I'm getting tired. If it's too difficult to ask the guys, I can do it for you. Hmm. If you want to do it, then you should just jump in already. I'm a little bit interested. Oh, yeah. Instructor Schwarzer, have you heard of Northern Rock? Uh, it's popular in Remiferia, North Ambria, and Jirai. Hey, pretty much the whole north region of Western Zamoria. Oh, she can play the guitar. Hey, really? Sounds like we got a match then. I suppose it might be more interesting than the student council. I guess I could go talk to him about it. Hey, you bet. Pablo told them he'd been able to find a few prospective club members. Bet. Alright, so Pablo asked, already asked you, Gustav. Oh, are you interested in rock music too? Aragon Mines, hey. A 
<laughs> I'm pretty good with my hands. Oh, it sounds like he's gonna be a drummer. Uh -huh, I'll take it you're fine with joining the student council then. N no. Then you just have to suck it up and get it. Uh <laughs> Damn, you either join student council or just join us, please. I guess I got no choice. I'll join the modern music club. Oh, guess we can ask for a little cheeky. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. The principal, the principal is gonna be happy about this, I think. Oh, thanks, lords. Wouldn't that be funny if she makes them the student council, like, regardless? All right. We got Pablo, we got everybody. He says he's good with his hands, so drums? Oh, Gustav is going drums, okay. Yo, Elliot is gonna show them the ropes, I hope. Hey. What the heck is this? Oh shit, we got another card game person chess club together uh thanks for the invite i guess but do you even have any experience no to be honest i'm still beginning but i know the rules at least now let's go back to the dorms and see what you've got heck yeah bring it on if we're in a club together i'll definitely be able to figure out your secret to being popular with the ladies bruh my what now <laughs> i beg your pardon Oh, Instructor Reen, I heard from Rachel that you started playing Vantage Masters. Oh, I did receive a deck, but I didn't realize you and Rachel were acquainted. I keep tabs on all the pretty ladies in town. I picked up Vantage Masters so I can get to know her better. Oh, I see. So if you have some free time, please play me. I've gotten sharp. I got to sharp, sharpen up so I can sweep Rachel off her feet. Yeah, all right. All right, pal. Oh, we found somebody to play against. Oh, she's not in here. Is she on the first floor then? Oh, somebody else is ready to play. Cool, we got somebody else to, no, he was on top of the building. What am I saying, bro? All right, I think what we're going to do is call it a day for now. And uh, we're going to come back and we're going to finish up the last portion of this free time. These games, I forgot how long these chapters are, bro. We're like still in the beginning chapter, just doing everything with the people, doing the side quest, talking with everybody, doing doing everything we can, basically. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, call it quits today. We got nine hours in, we're still in the first chapter of the game, but it's like, that's, that is literally the world of the Trails games. The NPCs are interesting to talk to. Everybody's interesting to talk to, is it? Hey, ha, there's a cat. It's not some random dialogue. These, these, the whole like entire town has a story to tell, bro. Everybody's got a story in this goddamn game, which is cool. I don't think there's a lot of games. There's not a lot of RPGs in particular that have that just feature of everything is just a continuous story. The townspeople have lives. Shit changes. Something that happens is affected later with one of the NPCs. And then they mention it, they bring it up. So it's pretty cool and it's interesting for the most part. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, I say that I don't like reading it, but as a content creator, I, I say that because it eats up a lot of time, but the dialogue is good. There's a lot of good dialogue and it's just fun to see and hear about the characters backstories. It's just, unfortunately, just, there's so much of it. There's too much. It feels like we're not making any progress, but it's good. It's comfortable. I like it, but uh, off camera, what I'm probably going to end up doing, I'm going to just give everybody on YouTube a heads up. I'm probably going to fish a lot and I'm going to convert the fishing into you materials and then upgrade certain things for quartz. And I'm probably going to go ahead and get into cooking. And then after cooking, I'm essentially <laughs> after cooking a lot, I'm going to get a lot of money and I'm going to have every, I'm going to be able to afford everything here is essentially what I'm going to do. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed 
the last couple of videos i will be back with another episode very shortly